hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i have ragged here here with me and so i'll be taking you shortly on a process whereby you get to know how to do it okay so make sure you touch that bell button so that you won't miss anything that i upload new okay so I'll have to part the hair first. I have to part that way and then I have to hold this one from the front. And then I comb this one first at the back here and I will start parting it in this manner. So I have to part the line and after parting the line I'll have to play it going upwards so I'm just plating the normal hairline the normal line okay so I'll be plating like that until the end so after reaching here I have to plate this room this strand remaining here I have to plate it until halfway so guys I'll be parting again and plating that way so let's continue plating So after finishing the back part like that, I'll have now to start the front part and I'll let them meet together here at the center. So the front ones I'll be just plating them straight.
So after plaiting them straight like that, so I'll have to join them together. So that way, and then I have to knit these strands here with a needle. And then I have to use this crochet and this braid here to crochet. So I'll be starting at the back, the first line there. So I have to lay my needle down the line. And then I have to lay the braid in the needle and then I have to close and pull it that way. And then I'll have to lock the braid that way. So, after picking the strand of braid, you have to lay your needle down the line. Then you add the braid that way and then you lock the needle. You pull the braid and now this is how you need to lock this braid. You have to lock it. One, two, and then you pull. You have to turn it two times in the same the same hole I mean the same place okay so let's check this one that way this is the method I normally use doing um, this uh, crochet afro or this ragged crochet because uh, it lasts for, for a long period and, and if you try to pull it, it will not come out. Yeah, you can even comb it without it without them coming out. Okay. So that's how you're supposed to tie the braid you're using to crochet and it makes the work easier and it gives you a long period of service. Okay, I mean it lasts for a long period. Okay, you can stay with this hairstyle like um, four weeks to seven or even eight weeks yeah yeah when you lock it nicely the way i'm doing but if you just lock it once and then you leave it like that it will not last for a long period when you, you try to comp it or when you try to pull it then uh, it will be coming out one by one and then that is it all right So here at the back, you have to do that way. And uh, the whole head will just go that way. So the process is still the same until you finish crocheting. Uh, for anyone who wants to know about the braid I'm using, it's a uh, Afro Kinky, Afro Kinky braid. I had to cut it into four pieces. Yeah, one strand I cut into four pieces. Yeah, yeah, because I just need uh, it to be short, so that's why I had I had to cut it into four pieces. All right. So, but if you want it to be a little bit uh, longer, you can cut according to your size.
So after crocheting, we have to trim it, right? So I'll be using these scissors here to cut it. So I have to part this part here and then this here. And then I'll have to part again at the middle. That way. And so this part here up, I have to hold it with some clips. And so I will start trimming first from the sides. So you have to make straight a bit and then you start trimming like that. You can either face your scissors up or down. Yeah, it will depend with your position. So I have to trim first. The yes, the ear, the ear part, and then uh, so that you can get the shape of your head. Yeah. So let's continue trimming it. When you start trimming, don't start uh, from down. You just you just have to start a little bit. Uh, on top because you, if you start down and then you mess then you don't have the way through then to start again crocheting uh, some strands again so you just move the top ones first and then you can come as you clear the remaining okay So here you have to levelize it. So again, here at the back, I have to levelize it again. You have to move the, the standing strands first before you levelize here. Yeah? You cut them, cut, cut and cut and cut. But you have to be very careful, <laughs> you don't have to mess. So guys, after that I have to remove this one in the middle and then I have to start levelizing from the back coming to front, okay? So after that I have to levelize it again, cutting the unwanted that way as I levelize it, okay?
you can see now how it looks so here in front I have to remove some strands like that and then I have to cut them and then realize that way so you can part it that way on the side and so you can use um, this uh, Cantu oil, oil spray or oil sheen to spray it it will maintain it good okay you see that's how it looks you can change also the style if you don't want this one then you can still make it to be a complete afro so you just have to you have to comp it using your hands so this is how we comp it here you have to use your hands to put it together this way and so that's how it looks now without a cut yeah so it's you to choose today this and tomorrow that okay so guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye